June 10th, 2024. I told you, this is so ridiculous. Um, yesterday, people were talking about how they found the tape of them making fun of F, uh, for Agent Will. Okay? They either call him John or Will. Okay? Uh, some little girls in Marshalls and Feldham were saying we've seen the tape of, uh, of uh, them making fun of Will. Now, this is funny. Well, I go over to Walmart on the strip. Some lady said, we heard those little girls say this in a tape of them making fun of Will. They said they sold the locket. Well, who the hell are you? I mean, who the hell are you? They announced in Walmart the first month or two of the case, they were selling the locket for $25 a pop. It's on Google that M13 hacked protected custody cases and are live streaming. So who are you that you don't know the government's hacked? Who are you? Seriously. Teenagers got it. Little kids. Old ladies. They sold it clear across the nation. I can go in other states and mention the case. So who the hell are you? That you don't know the government's hacked. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> During the case. Now, I want you to think about this. And what they're doing, there's, it's actually, it, it's stupid they gave up what they were doing. I, I'm telling you, they're human trafficking people out of their own homes. And it's like the perfect setup. You don't have to grab the person. You don't have to move them. And they're drug and raping them in their own home. Like some guy said, make sure you grab a condom when you go over there so you don't leave a trace. Alright. I'm working at Berry Cheese. Uh, June, July, and August of 19. Okay. This big, huge bodybuilder looking guy. Why? They said they were part of the Gentleman's Club from Florida. They look like bodybuilders. They were quite intimidating. The muscles are the muscle. He's looking straight down. You didn't even see me. Okay. I went over there last night. She said if she met me as a real person, as a real person, she'd be scared to death to meet me because I'm so big. I thought she cared about me. I thought she loved me. And she said she'd be scared to death to ever meet me. In real life, she'd be scared of me. I can't believe she'd be scared of me. I thought she cared. Buddy, you're a fucking rapist. You're breaking in that lady's home and you're stabbing her with a date rape dog or lacing her drink when she's out of the room to rape her. And because you drugged her up and she got her stoned and she doesn't know what she's doing so you can get a girl to participate in sex with you. Where did you think she'd care about you when she found out about you besides having the police arrest you? Told you it's a perfect setup. I wasn't the only one up there. You got to think, <clears throat> I have one of the rapists outside my home, August 8th of 18, light the security system. My house sat way back off the road, way back off the road, out there with a flashlight close to my house. I called 911. Ma'am, it looks like an alien orb or an angry spirit. I think they're dehydrated because who the hell talks like that? Then tells me out in the country to buy a big dog, open the door, and let the dogs handle it. So I come out of my property. You tried that shit in Perry Townships? There's a woman home alone, and some guy's outside her house with a flashlight. The police will be telling you, call us right away. We'll be right back. Because he's going to try to get in, or he'll be alongside the road. He's too close to your house. He's lurking around. There's a reason he's that close. It's probably one of those idiots coming to rape and I caught him. It's a perfect setup. Woman, hair, hmm? She leaves the room, you sneak in the back door, put something in her drink, and that stuff shit works so fast. Room goes dizzy and then black. 
And then you're sleepwalking. Yourself. They used to call it sleeping a Mickey. In the 70s, get someone basically stoned. And so they don't know what they're doing. Now they call it roofing, amnesia drugs, mind controlling drugs. They had LSD in the 60s where you walked around hallucinating, talking to people. There's a whole bunch of drugs now that make you sleepwalk. All, I talked to sheriff's office there. They want to know if our place was slow. They know about them years ago. Like 60. <coughs> hmm. Sorry, my allergies are acting up. Now, we're going to talk. I wasn't the only one. It's uh, actually, you got to think about it. They're breaking in private homes. Telling those guys, make sure they make a condom. So they can, there's no trace. Poor woman wakes up, throwing up, heart racing, almost passing out. I think they got <clears throat> some kind of flu or virus. I'm in the bathroom. Don't remember banging my arm or like, nobody thinks about one or two bruises. Especially in the <clears throat> middle of throwing up. And then you get a personal affection. Well, when you get personal affection all the time, but it gets so bad you can't really be. Then you think you got some kind of funky virus on an immune. Doctors think the same thing because you never see or talk to anybody. Nobody thinks a serial rapist. It's a perfect setup. They don't even have to move them. They just pet them out of their house. That's where that weird happens. <clears throat> In June of 19, uh, Medium Gary trucks, they slam on the brake. Hey, Alec, hey, Alex, there she is. I'm the only one in the parking lot. I have a pair of jeans on. My girlfriend's got a nice ass. It's great having a girlfriend you don't have to do anything for. Just like that guy thought that girl was in love with him. See, that's where my friend that used to work at the prosecutor's office, the serial rapist, to justify it in their mind, they call you your girlfriend or their wife. But if they, someone pulls the case, June, July, or August, I'm working at Mary Cheese, and the guy's in there saying it. He was raping somebody in the home. And in real life, he asked her if she'd love him. She told him she'd be scared to death. She never really met him. I can't believe she wouldn't love me. I thought she cared. Why would she care? If she cared, she wouldn't have had to rape her bitch. Let's see what I mean. It was up on Google. 6,000 people in Ohio were human trafficked. 3,000 cases. Not everybody was killed or taken, but I mean, they were, they were human trafficked and then released. They have like camps and places they usually put people like me, um, get them counseling, keep them safe, make sure they don't harm them again. They have organizations that take care of people like me. I was fed to them. Well, society laughed at me. See, that's where that big fat guy, oh, he was at least three, 350 pound long gray beard, told people he was a psychiatrist, said he was running a social experiment. See if people go along with people being drug beat, raped, and murdered in front of them. See, that's where the drug cartel, the bet between two gentlemen, fighting over this area. They want to see if uh, society, the human traffickers, could take over and help out society in this area failed. See, we're going to go back <clears throat> to, I'll tell you what, where that lady said, I heard those little girls say that they have seen that video of them making fun of welfare fall for this. They said they so long ago. Who the hell are you that you're that small? I had teenage kids up in North Canton, the police told us they all know we have the login. And would they want us to have this to do happen to them and not to say a word to us? And the police were lecturing them last year. They all know they have it. So, 
who are you? And it's on Google that M13 hacked protective live cases and no live streaming. So who the fuck are you that you're swamped? Mayor 21, I go in Pennsylvania and they're talking about that curve. I'm just finding out all those guys were lying. He's going to kill her? I'm like, slow, right? Those kids said they were lying on Thanksgiving with 18 to Flora. They caught their mother telling them to lie. I come home and I used to, when I get upset, I sit outside the Star County Sheriff's. Sit there and met. And I said, Kurt's slow, right? To the sheriff's walk out in uniform, yell out. If Kurt's the son, all the kids were lying, he is slow. So, that's why Kurt tells everybody to stay on him. Because the sheriff's called him slow. Slow and a slow guy. It's the only way I can hit all these people and mock them back. Um, but seriously, I went into Virginia. People had it. Went into Illinois. They said that guy Kurt gave up going after me in line for everything. July 21? I thought, what was he doing going after me? When they start calling him a fool, that they fooled or called him slow. He's the one telling everybody to stay out of it. What was he doing involving in people drug beat, raping somebody in their own home, hiring hitmen to frame them, and it was a fucking drug cartel? Why were you putting your name on it and wanting to go to jail for it? See, you people, like they said, when you, you listen to what these people actually did, we didn't think of what they did. They will go to jail for this. Yeah, right on Google. You cannot hire someone to harm somebody or to kill them. It's considered hiring a hitman. It's a 10-year sentence automatically where Dave said, told Danny he hired Pete on his own. Pete's actually Alex and Barrett Savannah's friend. Like they said, March 20th, 24, they made up Pete. They made up everything on me to get away with this. Everything's made up and we're laughing again. Hey. Okay. Yeah. The law is that if that person gets harmed, it's 20 years, and if they die, it's life. Like, I started uploading stuff like that to Facebook, the law straight off of Google. They said, no, this is funny, we looked at all those laws. Those people were to be arrested the first day. For Dave saying they hired Pete, to uh, them saying they were drugging me, Beating, raping me. They were selling kitty porn on my little grandkids going potty. They were sex trafficking videos of me and Dave and bed. Uh, me showering the sex extortion act of photoshopping and washing the date rape drug confessions. We got attempted murder, kidnapping, drug charges, assault with a deadly weapon. I mean, they had several life sentences just walking in that agent's office. Human trafficking me under drugs. They had several life sentences by state, local, and federal laws. And that agent broke the law not arresting him and doing his sworn duty. Not making fun of the rape victim being scammed. They've hired the cartel. He hired the fucking drug cartel to run, run a drug scam. Oh, people were complaining in Myers. Some teenage kids, whoa, we seen that video of them making fun of Will. Boy, he could take care of this. You haven't showed it to him? Sheriffs were talking about uniform at Fayette County Sheriffs. Other police officers have talked about it. Other people seen it. How they made fun of Will. They either called him John or Will. No. You want to tell me? Why hasn't he seen it? And mocking him. That's a good question. But everybody else has. Teenage kids are like, whoa. Other people walk in. We found out everything was made up on her. What a thing to make up. I thought you're slow, right? They told everybody in 18 they made everything up on me. Are, are, are you trying? to see it took you almost six years to find out what they were saying in 18 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 now. Yeah. Finally getting it. You need a caretaker, honey. They made nice people like me to make sure that you don't act out in public. Get with an agency. Get the idea? People were complaining too. Over the last few days that Savannah was having people say and do stuff to her and she didn't even know her. She knew of her and she didn't even know her. And she was having people harm her. Oh yeah, she was bragging in Faith Family Church. She could have anybody drug beat and rape. She just had to ask those guys told everyone in there that she was a little mafia, but she was telling everybody she was Michelle there. It was her. Like they said, Faith Family Church seen her impersonating Michelle. Seen her also with the Florida Human Traffickers, the Rapist, Alex. Like they, when I went back up there, that girl wasn't even a judge's daughter. She was just some late girl impersonating. It was Savannah. Like they said, they showed up. Faith Family Church seen her impersonating Michelle. She told all of them she could have anybody drug beat and raped. She just had to ask. They have told people since 18 everything was made up on me. And that they were just trying to steal the house and everything. That's it. They were just trying to steal everything from me. In 18 in Walmart 62. And they told them it was a drug scam between those two drug dealers for the whole thing's a bet between two gentlemen. One bet he could push her to suicide, the other one make, that he could make her give up everything in life and have people participate in it. Hey, Grant. Their drug lords are fighting over this area, using her as a pawn. A pawn is a con, as a scam. This whole thing's a scam. Then that big fat guy showed up with a long gray beard that he was running a social experiment to see if they could get away with this. You guys all failed. Y'all have failed. Katie's pathetic, like those girls from the Florida group, we told everybody not to say a word. Found out that agent let all this happen. Because that family's running around, feel sorry for us. And she had nothing to do with that death. And we all know it was a medication error. And that other girl's running around saying she was mean to her. And she uploaded that video of her ex-husband saying nobody was ever in her home before. And that girl's running around lying and she was mean to her. She was lying in 11, 2011 too. She's just a liar. Like they said, she's pathetic. Telling people are mean to her and they don't even see her. If they do see her out there with her spouse and just say hi, I'm passing. She's pathetic trying to get people's attention. But it's the cult mentality of manipulating others. And then control. It's the psychopath disorder where there's manipulation and no feeling or caring towards others. There's born serial killers. I'm going to upload this.